sometimes we've got to remind ourselves, again, how important a dealer process is. Now, I run a sales team from Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday, actually, and our processes are extremely important, right? Are the folks getting in on time? Are they making their phone calls? Are they overcoming objections? Are they TOing deals that they can't close? As important as that is, we've reminded ourselves that to have a healthy relationship with a dealer and to ultimately continue to grow the business, even more important than our process is the dealer's process. Because we can have the best process in the world. If the dealer doesn't have the process in place, to accommodate today's buying behavior, to accommodate today's buy cycle, it's a lose-lose for all of us. So I'm still very adamant about our, deal, our dealer processes uh, as far as my sales folks, but even more importantly, again, is the continued focus going forward on dealer processes, getting our folks into car dealerships on a monthly basis, getting our folks to meet with these dealers, seeing what they're doing, and not telling them they need to do it different, but at least give them the options for them to decide, give them the Polk information, which we've been talking about for the last the past year and a half now. That info continues to change. That info is a little bit different a year and a half ago than it is today. You know, we're seeing uh, defection increase more and more and more and more uh, as brand parity and product parity rise. So we pride ourselves on keeping dealers informed on what we're learning. You know, that Polk information comes off of all the leads that we send to our dealer network. That's about four million a year. So we like to think we've got a pretty big sample as far as the validity of the statistics.